All right, guys, we're back again. And in this one, we're learning how to create a class. So what exactly is a class? Now, a class is a, com a combination or a collection of functions and variables. So if you get functions and variables and put them in one place, you create what is called an object. Now, that object is called also a class. Now, this is why uh, using classes is called object-oriented programming because once you start using objects, it becomes uh, the mode of programming is a little bit different. So that becomes object-oriented programming. So that's what we're going to be using in this entire series is object-oriented programming. And the reason is that uh, OOP, as it is called, is more robust because you can create big, big projects that are many people are working on using classes. So it's very beneficial for you to learn how to program in this method because classes uh, make, you can easily upgrade your website. Let's say for example, you have a website like this and this is for a client and the client keeps asking, add one more function here, I need something here, I need something there. Now, if you're using uh, classes, that's going to be easy because already your website will be in pieces it will be in segments because that's what classes do you create your your project in segments and then put it together so when it comes to upgrading your website all you have to do is just add create one more segment and add it to to the whole project and it's going to work but if you don't use classes it becomes very difficult to find how to connect new things to your project especially if you haven't touched it in a very long time so just know that uh, using classes is much, much better, uh, a much better way of programming uh, using PHP. All right, so let's see how we can create a class right here. Now, previously we had seen how to create functions. So I'm going to create two functions here. I'm going to say function one. This is just one function I've created. And then I'm going to create another function. I'm going to call it two. Okay, then I'm going to move these functions inward using the tab key and then just say class, my class. And then I will move the ending of this to the end there, like so. So what's happening is that I've created class and I've put two functions inside it. Let me echo something in here. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to echo one and then put a break tag. Okay. And then I'll copy this one. You can put a space there, no problem. Copy this. And this one I'll call it two. So what I've done here is there's a class containing two functions. Now, of course, if I save this and go back here to try and run it, I won't see anything. Oh, actually, there's a syntax error. I've missed a word on line six, unknown function, function. So uh, line six, func, all right, my bad. So if I refresh now, I won't see anything because just like a function, a class needs to be called in order to run. Now, instead of just calling it like we do with a function, we have to create the class. This, what you're saying here, is a blueprint. This is equal to when you're building a house, you create a blueprint or a plan, which is on paper, of how the house is going to be like. Okay? So, this class is the blueprint of my class. So, when I say class, my class, I'm creating a blueprint for this class. Now, in order for me to use this class, this blueprint, I need to create the class, just like you need to actually build the house that you want to use. So in order to do that is I'm going to assign, create a variable. The variable can be anything. I can call it A and say A is equal to new. Now, when I say new, it means I, have to, I want to create a new class. So this class is called my class. And then I have to put open and close bracket like that. All right. So what I've done here, I'm saying 
a is equal to new class so now a represents this class at this moment now i can do this and say b is equal to new class this is valid which means a is going to represent this class and b is going to be a new class just like this one so there'll be two different classes created from the same blueprint but for now let's create just one okay so what can we do with this class now that we've created this class we can access the functions that are inside so for example i want to uh, access this one and this two so let me start with one to access one i'm going to say a and use the minus sign and greater than and say one like this i have to put the open and close bracket because it's a function so a one like this so a pointing to one so what i'm saying is we have to run this function called one which is inside this a class that i've created so now if i go back here i still won't see anything oh actually it runs i have seen something because when i run this function there's an echo inside there okay which is well and good so a1 so if i go back here and say a2 i will see the second function will also run now inside a, a, a class like i had said previously uh, inside functions i can put variables like name for example so I can name this anything because it's a variable, but I've decided to name it name. So if I go down here and put this one in there, so I'm going to, it's going to say one and echo whatever is inside this variable. So if I do this, it means also when calling it, I have to put a name in there. Okay, so I put my name when calling because this argument is required because I put an argument there. So let's see what this results in. One, my name. Because my name is contained in this one. Okay. Now, one more thing you have to keep in mind. A variable that is inside one function cannot be accessed inside another function unless that variable was declared outside both functions. So for example, if I say uh, variable, var, shortcut for variable, var is equal to someone, just something like that. So now this var can be accessed by this function and this function because it's outside. So let me remove this for simplicity's sake. Let me use name here and remove that as well because I want this function to use the variable name from here. So if I do this, uh, it's going to cause an error because an expected name, because when you put variables inside classes, you have to specify whether they are public or private. So let's use public for now. I'll explain this as we go on it's too much for this video so we'll say public name is equal to someone so now I can access it here right let's see an identified variable name so it still doesn't know this one so what I need to do is I need to reference it from inside the same class so in order to reference a variable that is coming or a function that is inside the same class I have to use a keyword called this. I have to put a variable thing and say this, like so. So this is like saying, the way I do it here, I'm calling this function from inside there. I'm using this arrow. I'm saying a arrow one. Now, if I was doing this same thing, if let's say I'm inside function two and I want to call function one, I have to do this very thing. However, instead of that, I'm going to use the word this. So if, for example, I'm inside here, uh, right here, okay? So let me, let me make this one a little bit more neat. Let me echo just the name itself like that. 
okay so now instead of just doing this i'm going to say this name like this so now if you look closely this is exactly like that only that because i have not instantiated i haven't created a new one because i'm doing this from inside the very class i have to use the word this meaning i'm talking about this same class the name that one now before we go to this down here uh, okay actually let me test this before we go any further and so you see that one runs just fine we see uh, someone let me put a space there and run it again so we see someone and then two because someone is being echoed here as this name and that so the same way outside this uh, class we are calling these functions if i wanted to know what value is in this variable here i'll do exactly the same thing i have done with these functions like this but i'm just going to call the variable name which is name in this case so i'm just going to say name however i'll remove these open and close brackets because these only need to be put there when you're calling a function and not a variable okay so if i remove these two to remove confusion what i'm doing here is i'm just creating a new class and then calling out to check what the variable is this one now since i'm just naming the variable i won't see anything here so what i need to do is actually echo i'll say echo this variable inside this class this variable code name inside this class so come back here and do that and there we go so if all this is not making a lot of sense for you that's okay because as we move on you're going to learn these things in detail this is just to keep your mind prepared so that when you see these things in future you're not surprised as to why i'm doing what i'm doing like that I'll be explaining, but I'll need to explain a bit less because I have already covered them in these videos. So don't worry too much if it's, this is too complicated. Just keep pushing and go to the next video and you're going to understand a little bit better. All right, so I'll see you in the next video as we tackle a new uh, topic.